Ladies and gentlemen, most welcome to this, uh, I would say, extremely topical SEPs lunchtime meeting. The Euro crisis, more Europe is needed on the increasing importance of the EU for the economic policy of its member states. And it's a great pleasure to wish Monsieur Yves Lutard welcome to uh, this SEPs um, uh, uh, lunch meeting. You are Prime Minister of Belgium. This is the second time you're Prime Minister of Belgium. You've been Minister President of Flandern, and you also have a particular European background. Perhaps everyone doesn't know. You have worked for five years in the European Parliament. This is also something which facilitates understanding and uh, taking part in this very important arena. So, <coughs> Prime Minister Lutheran, the floor is yours, and we can just say that also that, uh, I don't know if you will say a few words later on, uh, what you aim to do in Paris probably towards the end of this year <laughs> or next year when you take up the important position of Deputy Secretary General of uh, OECD. So with these words, very welcome. Thank you. So if this, would you like to have this one moved over? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Director, and good afternoon. I'm very pleased to, to be here just uh, to start and uh, say a few words about my uh, position now and the future position. Uh, as you know, uh, I'm a world record holder in uh, being Prime Minister of a caretaking government, and we are, I think, uh, taking care of this country in quite a good way. I think uh, that Belgium, from an economic point of view, experiences a quite a, a good period with uh, growth figures which are um, higher than... Is Mr. Reuters here now? <laughs> <laughs> or higher than the average in the Eurozone and the European Union. So I think that uh, Belgium is in a, a quite a good shape from an economic point of view. And as far as the institutional talks are concerned, you uh, might have heard that last week we experienced a breakthrough in a uh, historical dossier. I won't elaborate on that dossier, Brussel Halle Vilvoorde. It's very complicated. It took us a lot of time, but it was uh, not so. Uh, was not so expensive, was not about money, was just about fundamental rights of people. So uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, address you here at uh, SEPS um, and uh, on a very actual and very important uh, issue, the Euro crisis. The Euro crisis and the idea, I don't think it uh, can be tackled, the idea that more Euro is needed to, uh, to really solve our problems. If you know me, uh, I will try to speak to you some 30 minutes, uh, and then I'll be at your disposal for questions, and I will try very humbly to uh, give an answer to the questions. Uh, and I would like, in, in what I try to tell you, elaborate a little bit on five theses. Uh, first, the crisis of the of Eurozone being a common European responsibility. Secondly, the fact that the euro and, uh, benefits all of us. Thirdly, that we already took a lot of decisions and that we decided to keep the euro. Thirdly, that uh, the impact of the European economic governance um, on member states like Belgium is already very uh, important. And finally, of course, about the E and EMU, the monetary union, which should be also in the future an economic uh, union. First of all, the crisis of the Eurozone is a, um, is a common European responsibility. Sometimes we got the impression that the crisis in the Eurozone um, that erupted somewhat in May last year, that uh, it is considered as being the sole responsibility of a number of countries, I won't use the acronym, but um, a number of countries and that other countries are the strong countries that always as a member state uh, uh, respected all their uh, obligations <coughs> in relation to the treaty. I think it is not true. Um, I think that, of course, one cannot deny that the loss of competitiveness in countries like Greece and Portugal, the bank crisis in Ireland, and um, um, the um, 
problem of the high public and debt, private debt ratio in several member states, we cannot deny that this is a result of a lack of, uh, let's say, fundamental shift in uh, policies when we uh, entered in the euro area, 1999 and 2001. But I think that the whole the euro crisis is in, indeed uh, uh, the, the responsibility of the whole of the European Union. I think it's very important to underline that uh, when you...